so this is the lsp a100 spot welding machine sold by quartz components so this is a low cost low weight machine and it is rated for 2 kva you can also find the 4 kva variant on our website so the machine is already plugged in and turned on and as you can see it comes with two probes along with replaceable needles and then it is triggered by a foot pedal that you can see over here so let me show you how the machine works just turn it on with the power switch over here and you have two things one is the current control which is set to maximum and i think that is where most people would have to use it so it would most probably be in maximum and then we have the timer here which decides how long the spot welding should happen so this is for current and this is for timer now to trigger the machine all you have to do is place your spot welding uh, needle uh, on the correct place and then press this pedal to trigger the machine so when you press the pedal you can see that the led here turned on and turned off quickly showing that the weld happened for a short duration let me do it again so as you can see the weld happened and it turned off if you want to increase the duration of the weld you have to use this uh, timer over here to increase the weld but i would recommend not to increase it from one because i noticed extreme heating issues if it is going past three or four or high any values higher than that so the ideal value would be to keep the current in maximum and to keep the timer at one so uh, as you can see i have already done some welding using this machine uh, let me show you on the video how a weld is done so let me just quickly place another cell nearby and i'll show you how it is being welded i just have to place the probes in the respective place okay. As you can see the weld is over. Let me do one more quick. So now the weld is finished and as you can see the quality of the weld is good. Even if I pull it apart it's not coming out. So one more thing which I would want to say over here is that this machine is rated only for 2 kVA. So if the thickness of your strips are going to be higher, this strip over here is only 0.15 mm thickness. If you're going to use uh, 2 mm thickness strips, then you should probably go for a higher rated kVA. So I did try welding these 2mm strips and the weld result was not very satisfactory so if you're only going to use 0.15mm nickel strip this machine is recommended if you want to go fully professional then the 4kva machine is recommended that's it thank you for watching you can purchase the machine on quartz components more details along with the website link and the phone number can be found here thank you bye bye